All right, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about 17 hot entry-level remote jobs, and we're gonna be going over how much they pay both initially as well as down the line. So if you appreciate this type of video, let me know by gently cheersing the like button, and let's jump into it. So number one on the list is going to be a trauma registrar. This is somebody who gathers patient data in order to help hospitals better help their patients in the future. And a trauma registrar is almost like being a doctor's trusty blood pressure cuff, where they keep track of patient journeys, identify areas needing a little bit more tender loving care, and pave the way for better care one trauma case at a time. And trauma registrars make about $51,000 to $82,000 a year. So yeah, lots of jobs that are easy to land in the healthcare industry. Sometimes Sometimes they do require some training or certifications, but a lot of the time the hospital or the company will actually train you. So this one's really solid. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Oh, and by the way, here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video if you'd like. Next is going to be a contact center rep associate. And this one is also a medical related career where you basically handle patient registrations and scheduling within healthcare call centers. And this does require a familiarity with medical terminology. So for instance, stat means do it right now, like ASAP and PRN means as needed. So this is kind of like a customer service representative, but for the healthcare system. And they make about 35 to $47,000 a year, but it has the upside of getting your foot in the door in the healthcare system, which means it's gonna be much easier for you to get better jobs down the line. And by the way, here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video if you'd like. So I do like the upside of this one, uh, really good. Also a bit easier to get into probably. I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score as well. So the next option would be working for your favorite content creator. So this could be on YouTube or Instagram and lots of different content creators actually hire from their audience. And the reason they like to hire from their audience is because their audience is much more likely to be familiar with the type of content that they create. So if you follow your favorite content creators and go to the community tab, a lot of the time they will actually post their job opportunities. Now, an interesting fact about this is Gen Z is actually shifting from traditional careers. They're basically not interested in going into traditional careers in many cases. And it kind of makes sense because in order to get into a traditional career in many cases you have to go through traditional processes such as going to college and getting a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars in student loan debt and why would you do that if you can get into just as good of a career that you might actually enjoy a lot more with significantly less debt now content creators in general make about 43 to seventy six thousand dollars a year here's some opportunities i'll put them up on the screen you can pause the video if you'd like now content creation has been completely life-changing for myself so it would be ridiculous if i didn't mention this in some of my videos because it's what i do. And not only are there a lot of opportunities for you to start your own YouTube channel, I went from stressed out, burned out pharmacist to a full-time content creator making 30 times more than I did as a pharmacist. And now I'm able to travel the world and I only have to work four hours a week to maintain my channel. So whether you want to get into content creation as an employee, maybe, you know, work for your favorite YouTuber, work for your favorite Instagrammer, or you want to start your own thing, this is a phenomenal option. And I am actually doing a live training this week on how you can start your very own YouTube channel and make it to $10,000 a month. So I've done a few of these and people have absolutely loved them. We have hundreds of people that show up and it's awesome. I reveal my biggest secrets to growing and making money on YouTube and this current YouTube platform meta, right? What's happening right now. And I answer any questions that you have. So it's pretty much a no brainer for you to show up to this. And you can check the time by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And if you're watching this in the future, you can click that same link to see when the next live training is going to be and sign up for it. So yeah, definitely don't want to miss out on this. I don't know how long I'm going to be doing these, but I'm having a lot of fun doing them right now, but I may not be doing them in the future. So I don't know how long this is going to be going on. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 10 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an AI content writer. Now in the last few years, AI has done things that almost nobody could have imagined that it was going to be able to do. To be honest with you, it exceeded my expectations. I didn't think we were this close to being able to do the things we're able to do with AI. And it's honestly pretty incredible. And there are many different practical applications of AI. And one of them is content writing. The truth is AI is not going to be able to write you perfect content on its own. It just isn't going to happen, but it can help you make your content better and faster. So there is a great new opportunity for AI content writers out there. And we do utilize AI in order to make these very videos that you're watching right now. Again, is it all AI? No, it's not. There has to be really good script writing and research behind the videos as well. But AI enhances the videos and AI content writers make about 49 to $91,000 a year. And here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. So yeah, this one's pretty solid. I'm going to go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a YouTube producer. Now, 
Now there's this fantastic new website that I discovered where you can get jobs that are YouTube related and it's called ytjobs.co and I've actually hired people off of this website. And YouTube producer is one of the jobs that you can do on here. And this is basically where you're kind of like the little man behind the curtains that's directing everything behind the scenes on YouTube. And YouTube producers make about 40 to $71,000 a year. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. So yeah, lots of different YouTube related jobs available out there. Many different opportunities. There are YouTube channels out there that are making tens of millions, even hundreds of millions of dollars a year. And of course, the creators want to hire employees so they can make their content better, faster, and they can take some stress off of themselves. And this can be a great way for you to learn the basics if you're interested in doing YouTube yourself. And if you're really serious about YouTube, I do coach a few people every month. So you can apply for that. I'll put it down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. So yeah, YouTube producer, really good one. I'll go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a digital acquisition marketing specialist. This is somebody who typically use paid media campaigns to drive customer acquisitions. Now, a funny quote I came up with this one is the customer is not a moron. She is your wife. And this is by David Oglivy, who is a super famous copywriter. He's like maybe one of the most well-known marketers of all time. And this might sound silly at first, like the customer is your wife. What are you talking about? Well, 75% of purchasing decisions are made by women. So he actually has a really good point here. Now I've actually helped a bunch of people get into these digital marketing related roles and I've interviewed them on this channel and they were able to do that through the company called Digital Career Blueprint. And this company has a free training, which you can check out down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And I highly recommend doing that. So yeah, love this one. I think it's great for beginners. Anything digital marketing related, it's so new that colleges, there's just no way they could catch up with it. And so you can easily get hired without a college degree or previous experience. And many, many people have. In fact, there was a 16 year old that I interviewed on the channel who got hired and made a bunch of money doing it part time. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. And so I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. All right. So next one on the list is going to be a podcast research assistant. Now podcast is one of my favorite mediums for content. I think that it is extremely raw and extremely authentic. And people really just talk off the cuff rather than scripting things out, which is really attractive to me. And of course, big podcasts need podcast research assistants so they can talk about the most recent and interesting things and bring on the best guests. And in this position, you can make about 39 to $64,000 a year. Now, this is another one of those where if you're a fan of a certain podcast, it's going to be much easier for you to actually land a job. And actually, someone on this channel commented years ago, and by the way, comment down below because I do read the comments, and I ended up helping them get a job in the podcast industry because that's what they were passionate about. Shout out to David. So yeah, this one's really good. It's one of those new hot careers. So so here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an invoicing administrative specialist. And this is somebody who specializes in handling the tasks of creating and sending invoices, but they also collect payments and they maintain accurate customer records and invoicing administrators make about 45 to $65,000 a year. So super easy job to get doesn't require college degree or previous experience. And here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity opportunity score. Next is going to be a credit support representative. And this is somebody who provides customer service, handles account setup, manages payments, and assists in collections for various different types of companies. And credit support specialists make about forty-nine dollars to $81,000 a year. So yeah, another super easy one to get into. Probably don't want to do it for the rest of your life, but it can be a good way to get your foot in the door in the finance industry. Here's some opportunities. You can pause the video. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Next is going to be an assistant grant writer. And in this position, you'd basically research funding opportunities, write compelling proposals, and manage the grant application process in order to secure funding for your organization, school, or nonprofit. And that's essentially what grants are, is where they give money to different types of organizations. Sometimes they even give money to businesses. And I actually used to do this in the past, and I got fairly good at it. And if you can get good at it as well, it's a very valuable skill to learn. And grant writers make forty six dollars to $68,000 a year. So here's some opportunities. You can pause the video. I'll put them up on the screen for you. So yeah, really solid one. I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a digital paid media coordinator. And these are basically the ad wranglers of the internet. And they craft and manage online ad campaigns to boost brand awareness and drive sales for clients. Then a really good quote I love about marketing and ad campaigns is from Don Draper from the show Mad Men. And he basically says, success comes from standing out, not fitting in. And paid media coordinators coordinators make about 51 to $73,000 a year. This is another one of those digital marketing related jobs that you can land relatively easily without a college degree or previous experience. And here's some opportunities. You can pause the video. I'll put them up on the screen for you. I'm going to give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be 
a curriculum and scheduling assistant. And this is somebody who would typically work for some sort of educational organization, like a nonprofit or a school, and they basically develop curriculum, schedule classes, and handle administrative tasks in order to keep online and in-learning classrooms going. And scheduling assistants make about thirty-nine dollars to $57,000 a year. Super easy job to land, very easy to get into, not as high paying as some of the other ones. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. Oh, and by the way, here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video if you'd like. Next is a health records analyst. And this is somebody who basically organizes and analyzes health records from patients. And they do this in order to ensure accuracy and efficiency. And these data detectives are hired by hospitals, community health centers, and other healthcare organizations. And you can almost think of them as like healthcare data Sherpas, who serve as guides in sorting medical records to deliver better patient care for healthcare providers. So here's some opportunities. You can pause the video. I'll put them up on the screen for you. So yeah, this one's really solid. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a financial care agent. This is somebody who works remotely to help people resolve past due accounts, and they act as a bridge between the customer and the creditor. And these financial navigators are employed by collection agencies and financial service providers. And financial care agents make about thirty-eight dollars to $56,000 a year. And here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. So this one's a bit harder to get into. Uh, sometimes it does require a college degree. I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a public relations specialist. And these are basically the storytellers of a brand behind the scenes, crafting press releases, managing social media accounts, and building a positive reputation for them and their clients. For instance, if there's some kind of scandal that happens, a PR specialist would tell the company or the person that the scandal happened to how to handle it. And public relations specialists make about forty-nine dollars to $75,000 a year. So very interesting career to get into, especially interesting in the digital age. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be recreation sales specialist. And this is somebody who connects with organizations such as parks and schools, kind of like the show Parks and Recreation, and consults them on selling things such as playground equipment or creating fun and functional spaces for communities. In this position, you make about sixty-eight dollars to $111,000 a year. So any sales related job in my opinion is good you should do it at least one time in your life the hardest type of sales is door-to-door -door sales cold calling is also very difficult but it really grows you as a person and it makes you just come out of your shell and it makes you understand other people on a much deeper level too. So here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Highly recommend doing any job like this. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you've gotten this far into the video and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? definitely subscribe to this channel. We drop the best content. We also put a ridiculous amount of research into every single one of these videos. This particular video was 83 pages of research, right? So we basically write a book in every video. And we do that because we want to bring you the best possible content. Next is going to be a pricing coordinator. And this is somebody who basically navigates the maze of U.S. healthcare, right? Because the U.S. healthcare system is an absolute mess. And they basically try to estimate the cost of something like a procedure. And they act as the transparency champions in the U.S healthcare system. And pricing coordinators make about forty-seven to $68,000 a year. So again, another one of those super easy medical related jobs that you can land. It takes a little bit of training and some certifications, but a lot of the time the companies will actually do that for you themselves. Here's some opportunities. You can go ahead and pause the video if you'd like. So yeah, really good one. I'll go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you didn't see it already, I did a video that got over a million views. People absolutely loved it. And it's the seven remote jobs that are almost always hiring. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.